Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to give a general reading for the month of June 2022 for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign of Sagittarius. Now, as I say, these are general readings, so not everything will resonate with you, so please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. And if you know your Moon, your Rising, or your Venus, you can always check those out. They'll all be linked in the description box below. As well, all the ways you can contact me if you'd like a private reading or to work with me on a deeper level or to book me for a corporate event. So without further ado, let's take a look at Sagittarius, June 2022. And if I could ask you whilst I'm preparing the cards to please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel, that would be very much appreciated. There is a subscribe button on the screen somewhere. Good start. <laughs> Throwing them all over the place. Let me just bring that back a bit so you can hopefully see the cards. Okay. So it looks like you might need to be releasing something, Sagittarius. Look a little bit deeper. Thank you. Ooh, okay. 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 Mm, that's better. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, your cards are jumping. Okay. Oof. Oof. That was actually too many. That was a load fell out then. I'm going to redo that. Okay. Sagittarius, something going on with you this month. Something is afoot. Sagittarius, what do they need to know? Sorry. Goodness me, I'm not doing very well with my shuffling today. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, that's an improvement. And that is our overall energy for lovely Sagittarius, please. Okay, so your overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Intuition. She is very much someone who goes with the flow. She's very in control of her emotions, but in a good way. She's very positive emotionally. But this is a case of going with your heart this month, okay? Going with what your instincts, your intuition, what deep inside of you tells you to do. Trust yourself. The Queen of Cups doesn't doubt herself at all. She trusts that 
she can let go of the oars and just go with the flow. She trusts that she has got this because she knows that her instincts, her intuition never steers her wrong. And that's the kind of energy that you have to have coming in to, not have to have, but you the energy that is overarching this and the energy that would benefit you this month is trust yourself, trust your instincts, trust your intuition and be heart led. You know, look at things with love in your heart. And that's really important to remember going forwards. We have some discombobulation, shall we say, at the start of the reading here. There's a little bit of a mixed bag and this has been prevalent throughout all of the signs this month. So there is something going on in June. That's all I can say with this. So we start off with the Ten of Swords, that feeling of being, um, being stabbed in the back, being isolated, suffering loss, suffering in some way, something that has hurt you very deeply inside. But the good thing about tens is that they are a completion. So it's time for all that hurt, all that pain, all that suffering that you have gone through to be released, to be let go of. You know, it's time to heal from that. And it may have something to do with burdens that you have been carrying around that just are not yours. Because next to that 10, we have another 10, the 10 of Wands. Now, this one is in the reverse. When it is in the upright, it's about you taking on more than you should, needing to release some burdens. And as I say, 10s are completions. So it's letting go of those things that you don't need to be focusing your energy on right now. When it's in the reverse, it is a really strong indication that these are not your burdens to carry. It can also be indicative of you might have put some things down, but or be putting some things down, but they will come back if they're not dealt with. So really look at what you're taking on that isn't yours, that you need to release and let go of. Because this is going to help you to feel lighter. It's going to help you to, to um, elevate yourself and to feel like you have more um, energy and more positivity going forwards. And there is something that you are not admitting about this. We have the Seven of Swords underneath that Ten of Wands in the reverse, in the middle. And... This shows me that you are not being totally honest with yourself about what you are taking on, about what you can say no to and what you can say yes to. It's about you being truly and deeply honest with yourself, trusting yourself with love, with, with intuition, with allowing yourself to just be and just do you okay underneath the ten of swords we have the ace of swords in the reverse you may be feeling blocked right now like the ideas are not coming that there's something that is just not happening for you it's just not clicking right now and this has come about because of whatever it is that you have got this pain and this sense of loss this sense of of feeling put upon from these two tens in the beginning. So it really is important for you to release those blockages and be honest with yourself because the universe knows what you want. The universe knows what is in your heart, but you need to admit that and own that in order for it to come into being. So that's that sort of little foursome there. Now we do have the nine of crystals next to those two tens or the nine of pentacles as it would be in some decks. And the nine of crystals shows that you have the 
um, ability to reap the rewards of the seeds that you sow. Now, the caveat to that is what seeds are you sowing? Because that's going to be the important factor here. If you are sowing seeds of taking on what's not yours, of accepting other people's opinions of you, of not of feeling blocked, of not admitting to yourself what you truly want, then that's the rewards you're going to get. But if you are able to clear this out and open your heart, then the rewards you get will reflect that. And these could be financial rewards. These could be rewards on a, a love or a spiritual level. But you want to be reaping the rewards for of what you want. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now we have the star seed card underneath that and next to the seven of wands there. And the star seed is one of the extra cards in this deck. And it shows that you are on a journey, a journey of ascending to the next level, but you still have stuff to learn. You still have much to know. The star seed is, as a seed is, it's a, it's a beginning. It's, it's a, a planting of ideas, a planting of of character, a planting of who you are able to be for the greater good. So have a think about what it is that is causing you this blockage. Because remember, whenever we have a reversal, I always say you have the ability to flip it the right way up. And the right way up, the Ace of Swords, is new ideas, new knowledge, new wisdom coming in. It's the whoosh into the crown chakra. And this, I have to say, is one of my favourite Ace of Swords cards ever. It's just stunning. So think about where those blocks are. What are they attached to? What situation or person is causing you to feel put upon, is causing you to feel less than, is causing you to feel that hurt and that pain? Where do you need to clear out the debris? And this is something you will learn as a star seed and be able to invite more um, inspiration, more of the, the cosmic energy to come in and to inspire you and to help you with that flow that the Queen of Cups energy is so attached to. We then have the world card. Now, the world, I'm not sure whether this was upside down or the right way up when it came out because I kind of flipped it, which was a bit silly. But the world is a complete cycle, okay? In the ending is a beginning. So something needs to come to an end in order for something else to begin. And out of that ending comes the new beginning. So something is working its way through a cycle here. And that doesn't matter whether it's in the reverse or it's in the upright, to be honest with you. It may indicate that a move of some description is required, some kind of shift. And I get the sense that this is less of a physical shift, although for some of you, it might be that you are considering moving house, moving location, moving jobs. But I think it's more of an energetic shift because we have that star seed there. And it is, it is something that is, is happening now. It is something that is turning. It is something that is in motion as the world is. We then have the Page of Cups, which is the messenger of love. You know, they come with a, a tentative offer of love, but it's also a reminder to love yourself. To approach everything that you want and you desire with that love for what you are asking for. This isn't about the ego. This isn't about your head. This is about your heart, about connecting with your heart's desire in order to create what you want. 
And if you can work through all of that stuff, at the end of the month, we have, or at the end of the reading, we have the Ace of Wands. And Aces are beginnings, as I said, with the Ace of Swords. This one is in the upright. And the Ace of Wands is about that spark, that inspiration, that creative energy, getting those creative juices flowing and really connecting with what lights you up and what gives you joy. So it's all possible there, Sagittarius, but there is something that some of you will be working through in the meantime, and it may not feel like the easiest shift that there is. And it's gonna take a lot of self-love and a lot of honesty and a lot of trust, trust in yourself and trust in the universe. Can you let go, Sagittarius, and go with the flow? That's the question. Okay, I'm going to take out Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. What do my lovely Sagittarius need to know, please? Thank you. The map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. Exactly this. You have that free will to do what you want. We all do. We all have free will. The inspiration is here with that Ace of Wands. That sense of purpose, that sense of being authentic with yourself. That's that Seven of Swords, being honest with yourself and allowing your inspiration to create your way towards your destiny. Mm. Let's take another oracle for you. Wisdom of the oracle. That was just me dropping it. I'm not going to take that one. If it comes out again, it was meant to be. Sagittarius. Nope, that's me dropping them again. Okay. Yeah. And find your inner peace. I have the card of peace here. Find your inner peace. Find that sense of calm within you where you can be still and quiet long enough to listen to what your higher self, your guides, your guardian angels, what is being said to you. Be at peace with who you are and where you are right now. We can't always make great strides. Sometimes we have to just be happy to be where we are. There's stuff to work through. There's stuff to recognize within yourself. So take some time to be peaceful and quiet and work that out. Okay. Take a healing with the fairies. And we get the card of kindness. Be kind to yourself and others and allow others to show you kindness because I get the feeling that you've not felt much of that of late with that Ten of Swords there. Kindness goes a long way, but you should always be kind to yourself. Don't give yourself that negative self-talk. Okay, if you want to delve deeper, you can always contact me for a private reading. The link is in the description box below to my website. And um, But until next time, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel and have a beautiful and blessed day. Namaste.